Do you know that two, three, four, or more persons can work on the same project using Revit? Imagine you are asked to make a project and you have a deadline to meet and you are saying that it is impossible to meet that deadline unless you add more hands to the project. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to worry because Revit work sharing is the perfect way you can do that and that's what I'm going to be talking about in today's tutorial video. Hello and welcome back to ArchiQuest. My name is Grant. In this channel, we dish out interesting architecture related content. Please do well to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to like our video, share and turn on the notification bell icon so that you get notified when next we publish a new video. Now for us to start, I'm going to show you how to set up your work sharing and at the end of this video, I'm also going to explain the theoretical aspects of work sharing and how it works just for the people who would like to understand the process behind it. But for us to start, what we need to do is to come under our collaborate. Once you click on collaborate, you see collaborate right here. You click on this, you can see within your network or in the cloud. You just need to click within your network, leave it as within your network. You click on OK, it opens up uh, something else for you around this corner that you are going to also click. Don't worry, let it just finish loading, we'll see it. Good. Now you see initially what we had was collaborate, just collaborate. Now you can see collaborate in cloud. You can see work set and all of, all of that. So the next thing we need to do is to save this project. Now we're going to save this project because this is the central file. So we do save as project. Let's look for a place to save it. Let's go to uh, YouTube. Okay. Let's just save it here. Central model. Oh no, let's just create a folder. Let's create a folder and name it central model. But duplex central file duplex central file. So we open it and we create this. We say central file because this is the central file. So we save it right here. So we just wait for it to load and it will just set up for us so we then need to create locals from the central file so we're just going to give it a little bit more time for it to load okay now that we have successfully saved our central file all we need to do is just cancel this and this we don't need them anymore then we click on open we go to where we save the central file so let's go back a little bit now you can see so we click on this we open now you can see this central file this is the project this is the central file of the duplex so we click on this and you can see this checked this create new local icon is checked on then you click on ok now you see it's going to open a new local file from the central file so you can see uh, central file which is what we saved it then you can see admin so this is how to create uh, this is how to create work sharing in Revit now for the explanation part now, what does this work sharing do? Let's say this is my own now. The name of my system is admin. I didn't change it to my name. So I just left it at admin. That's why you can see this small admin icon here. So if your system, if you have your name on your system and you, let's say the next person who is supposed to be working on this project creates the project, creates a local file, is going to have central file and the person's name on it. That's as person number two. Then person number three also does the same thing. Is going to have central file and the person's name on it. So this is how the central model looks like. Now let's say I take out some walls, I take out some, or let's say we are meant to do a working drawing on this project, and I decide to work on the floor plans. Person B decides to work on the elevations. Person C decides to work on the sections. So once I'm working on my floor plan, the central model, which is the central file that we created initially nothing is going to be updated there unless i finish working on the floor plan come under collaborate and i click on synchronize with central that's when all the things i have on my own uh, uh system that's the floor plan that i have done would now synchronize will send to the central system now what will be in the central system is just the working drawing with only the floor plans 
Now, the person who is working on the elevations have not synchronized his own, so you won't see it there. So, the person working with his elevations, once he synchronizes his own, now the central model will have the floor plans and the elevations. But what I would still have on my own system is just the floor plans. Now, the third person sends his own section, synchronizes his own sections. Now, the central model is complete. It has both elevations, floor plans, and sections. But each of us in our individual system still have what we worked on then for us to get uh the what other for us to get what other people have on their system we just need to reload latest now this would now transfer everything that is new from the central file which you don't have on your system like for me now i have only the floor plans it will now transfer the elevations and sections that other people have worked on that are already in the central file is going to transfer it to my own um, system so I can see what they have done. Then they too do the same thing, reload latest, and my floor plan, and let's say the, the one who made the sections uh, reload latest, the floor plans and the elevations would now go to his own system so he can see what I have done and what the other person have also done. So this is how, this is just the idea behind um, work sharing in Revit. It actually helps you to complete your work faster instead of spending more time uh, on a particular project. Good. So now that is that for creating central file and now you've understood what central file is all about. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is let's say you're finished and you want to detach the file. You don't want it, you don't want to work on it as a central file because for this central file to work, you actually need cables, Ethernet cables to uh, to be plugged directly to your system. Then you connect the whole thing to, or you connect through uh, Wi-Fi. That's how it's going to work. But at cables is faster because it has a uh, a faster network speed. So once that is done, then you can work together. But once you are not within that same uh, workspace, and you let's say you go home and you also want to continue working. On the project you therefore have to detach your own file detach it and go home so that you can work on probably the shadows and and whatever you want to work on because if you work on it and you come back to the office the next day to synchronize it, it wouldn't work you won't even open uh, the file without having uh, uh, connected to the system or you won't even be able to see uh, latest updates on the file if you are not connected to the internet or something because if you click on synchronize it won't work so for us to detach the file and work on it individually again now what we need to do is to let's cancel this well we we'll have to save this first because this is uh, our own central file so we save this if you want to save it fine if you don't want to save it no problem we need to save it so that i can show you how to detach it so we need to save locally okay relinquish more on mod uh, all models okay then let's see what we'll save it with good then we can come back open now you go to where you save it is normally going to be saved on your document now you can see the name of the file central file so once you come to your document you will see central file admin now this is my own you can see the revit file right here so once you click on this now you can see detach from central so once you click on detach from central you are removing uh, you, are, you, are, you are like removing yourself from the uh, work collaboration so you can work separately without anybody seeing what you are doing, without you synchronizing back to the um, central file and all that. So once you click on detach from central, you click on open, it will ask you, do you want to detach and preserve work set or detach and discard work set? You just click detach and discard work set. Then it opens as an individual file for you which is where you initially started from, then you can keep on working at home without the uh, collaboration cables and all that. So you can do whatever you want to do, come back to the office tomorrow. And you have to, once you come back to the office tomorrow, you have to now create a new central file with the, because you now, you worked at home. So you have the updated file. So you have to now create a new central with this updated file and trash the old one so that you people will continue your collaboration with the updated file. So that's just how it works. If you find this video interesting and helpful, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, share, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any interesting video when next we publish. See you guys on our next video. Bye.